and you should never change yourself for you or for anyone. Hey guys, Becca here. Quick update on my stand up to cancer thing that I'm doing. Um, I didn't actually think it all the way through because I still have a life ahead of me. I don't quite want to get a criminal record yet. So what I'm going to do, instead of stripping fully naked in town, I'm going to go down to my underwear. But, you never know, if enough of you turn up, I might go all the way. Okay, so this video isn't about the update, it is about my help and advice three. Yeah! Okay, so let's get started. First one, Connor UK. Becca, I need your help. I seem to be liking all the wrong sorts of girls, and I want to know how I can change that type of person that I like. I want someone who wants to be in a long lasting relationship, as I always go for the bad girl who always wants one thing. And I think we all know what that one thing is. Sex. Um, then again that's more guys isn't it? Okay, Connor, um, I wouldn't have said you can really change who you like. I mean, you just kind of got to work around it. it. I don't know how you can change that. It just happens in time. You just got to have the willpower to say no. No. <laughs> Basically, that's all you can say is no. You, to yourself or to them. If they ask you out, you say no. If you're wanting to ask them out, you say no to yourself. You just walk away. And then eventually, and then you get to know, you try to get to know the good girls that want a last longing, lasting relationship. My advice to you, go for an older girl because they're more mature and they don't really want to experience as much because girls, they don't really want to be tied down. Some girls do, and that's very rare, um, but girls just want to experience stuff as much as they can and then eventually, by their 20s, settle down. Some girls, it's earlier. I don't know. Depends, really. But you can't change who you like. That's basically saying changing yourself. And you should never change yourself for you or for anyone. Yeah. Okay, second one. Amy, 18, Ireland. Hey, I just found out my boyfriend cheated on me with my best mate. Shit. And I don't know what to do. She is my best mate and I love her, but I don't, can't forgive her for what she's done. No, I couldn't either. Oh my god. Amy, I'm so sorry. Amy, yes. No, you're right. You, you shouldn't forgive her for that. That is bang out of order considering she's your best mate. I mean, that's got to be harsher on you than it has anyone else. I mean, it's alright if your boyfriend goes off with some other girl that you don't know, but your best mate? Okay. It's not right, but like it's better in a way. You, you get what I mean. I would confront her about it completely. Um, I wouldn't even be her best mate anymore. To be fair, I wouldn't even be her friend. Because what she did to you, that's bad. You basically confided everything with each other. Like, you told each other everything and she's gone and done that. You thought she could be trusted. Obviously not. I swear to God, if Joyce ever stole my boyfriend, and even if I stole hers, no, you just don't do that, okay? God damn it! Why? Why do people do this? Ugh. Okay, um, the last one, Jackie from Milton Keynes. Hi. Okay, this may sound stupid and cliche, but I have a crush on my English teacher, Mr. Davidson. That's a, yeah, very cliche. <laughs> Um, and I know you're not meant to like your teacher, but I feel we connect, and I want to say something, but at the same time I don't want to embarrass myself. What should I do? No, you, you shouldn't like a teacher. <laughs> I've actually never come across this. I've never actually fancied a teacher. At all. I feel like I'm missing out, because everyone has at one point, and I'm just like, great, Am I, I'm the odd one out. Yeah. Well, it depends how confident you are. I'm not gonna push you in confidence, but if you're really confident, then I'd go up and say to him, um, and maybe if it's distracting you from your classes, get a new teacher, if, if, if he's even helping you, <laughs> go for it. As I said, if you're confident, go up to him, but if you're not, I would just keep your distance, keep your head down. I'd just try and 
be put off by him. Maybe go for someone more your age. I mean, you haven't said your age, so I don't know how old you are, but I'd go for someone in your class. Maybe try to get to know them and like them a bit more rather than your teacher, because your teacher can't physically date you. Um, and I'm having this vision that you're like, I don't know, 16 odd and that he is like 37 or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, but honestly, do not go for him. Try and diverge yourself from that path. He's good, he's, he must be good to look at, but just don't go for him. Just try and put yourself off a bit. I don't really know what else to say for that because I haven't actually experienced it. But that also goes sort of for something that if you like a guy but you don't want to like that person, do the same thing. Divert yourself. Try and find something else or someone else to like. You know, find ways, find something that you don't like about them and then work up that hatred of that thing and then eventually you will hate them, to be fair. <laughs> that, that would also come back to the first one, I think, would it? Yes. Find something that you hate in those type of girls and Boom. you're never gonna go for them again. There we go. Okay, so this video was kind of a short and sweet thing. Um, if you guys have any more um, advice that you want me to answer for you or you want my opinion on, email me because the description, my email will be down below in the description. Um, once again, for the stand up to cancer thing, as I said, if enough of you turn up, then I'll go completely naked. But other than that, I still have my life ahead of me. I haven't had a job yet, and I would like to get a job. So, I don't want a criminal record stopping me with that. But if I, but I will recreate the video. If I get enough subscribers and enough money, I will recreate the video and I will strip completely naked. Maybe in the middle of London, where most of you can attend then. Other than that, I don't really have enough money to divert myself. I'm not the Janoskians who can just buy myself myself out of it. So, um... Still be stripping, just not completely naked. And don't think I'm a coward for doing that because... I bet you guys would do the same. Half of you wouldn't even strip in the middle of town. Half of you wouldn't even take off your clothes and leave your underwear on. Just gonna say, you know... As I said, don't want a criminal record. If enough of you turn up, I'll strip. Na naked. So turn up. The video will be posted on this channel as well. So, you know, even if you can't get there, you won't be missing out. It will be filmed. <sighs> God. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video. Um, I know it was a bit two ways, like, the charity cause and the help and advice. I know it was like two different videos in one, but I still hope you enjoyed it and give this video a like and subscribe down below for more videos and I will see you in the next one.